Welcome back to our channel. Uh, this is the essential guide to digital jewelry design with Akio and Eva. And uh, we're doing a joint tutorial today um, uh, using a tri-stone ring. And we're working in Rhino for Mac, uh, the new work in progress Serengeti version. We hope you enjoy the tutorial and uh, let's let's get started. Okay, so this this is the result that we're going to look for the end of the tutorial. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a classic, it's, a, it's, it's also a bit of a classic cut, maybe. I don't know, would you say it's a classic or would you say it's something a bit more modern? Like here? Well, I was gonna say like uh, three stone rings are a uh, classic, but the, how you did it, like a marquee and uh, uh, you know, that the tri uh, triangle, uh, like a stone would be, you know, give a very modern look, yeah, very sharp and I love it. Yeah, it's 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 quite a pointy ring. That's mm -hmm. that that's for sure. Um, yeah. So I've laid out all my layers here, and I'm gonna start by just looking at what the, the perfect you know build up for one of these rings is. In in my case, what I like to do is kind of like you. I, I like to put my my stones in first. Mm -hmm. So. Um, for example, um, I'm going to put in my my ring size here, uh, so that I can get a good indication of where my stones are at, so wh where they will sit on the finger, um, in relation to the 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 ring the ring finger, and um, how I want the stones to lie next to one another. So in this case, uh, what's nice is if the side stones are almost underneath the main stone so that you really have this tight tight setting um you don't of, want to see the space right from, from yeah, the yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly you don't want to see the space you want it to almost be nested like it's it that's just one big stone actually um okay so eva wh what do you say that the um the the height of the marquee from the finger is uh, um, I have a lot of questions from the uh, viewers and my student that the how high should be or um, that's I think depending out upon the look right. Yeah, actually like, yes, mm -hmm. and you can kind of you can kind of go on a on a on a on a template size. Funny enough, you asked that. I've got a dimension. I've got some dimensions put in. Yeah, so I've already worked out a couple of of distances a couple of dimensions for example um uh this stone was a stone that was already existing and as you can see it's it's a very deep stone mm -hmm. so it's it's quite a deep marquis stone um the trillions tend to be much shallower stones and about one and a half millimeters away from the fingers is kind of good because because it's such a, a deep stone if it's too far away from the finger it's going to get too high mm -hmm. uh, you know it's going to get too too the whole ring will get just too too high to to wear so right. the stone it's, itself it's is nice to begin yeah. with. Mm -hmm. so you you've got a ring that's sitting almost five to six millimeters off your finger and you know that that's that's high enough otherwise it starts becoming cocktail ring size and <laughs> and then not entirely uh, so comfortable to wear um so I've got here a couple of, of dimensions that I, I, I put in for, for myself to work with. Like, for instance, um, as we can see on the finished ring, the bottom of the, the shank is thicker than the top. It's kind of got a knife edge running up to the top side of the ring. Nice, and nicely tapered, yes. Yeah, yeah. this, this, this uh, uh, it, it kind of, Create, creates a, a nice emphasis on the stones in the top in the center and um the, the bottom is, is fairly thick it says here 2.2 but it's actually 2.5 like on the sides um actually let's have a look here because it's even bigger than 2.2.5 i think i'm going to put on my snap tools that's 2.8 mm -hmm. which i would say is a limit anything more than that probably is not going to get too comfortable to wear mm -hmm. um, 
and at the top here I've got my 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 gaps or well, the stone the stone here is 1.3 millimeters deep the other one is four millimeters and um yeah I've got here a, a dimension of how thick I would want for example the prongs to be on top but these are kind of just more or less markers for myself to to work to work with when I'm when I'm building the ring uh, I tend to have to build everything a little bit bigger because if I don't I make things too fine and as you know with the 3d printing and with the casting if you make something too fine you're just going to lose more material at the end so it's always mm -hmm. good to add I don't know 0.2 millimeters to everything so that you can work it away afterwards um yeah that was a mistake I used to make in the beginning is I always made everything way too fine um yeah, easily like a 0.1 millimeter or sometimes 0.2 will be wear off um when polishing yeah, yeah. especially like a uh, ring shank yeah definitely definitely uh especially if you've you know got a cast that's not not super um you have to you have to fix that cast up by polishing more away than you would have then you yeah you're good when you've got more material than you need um so what i'm going to start by doing is i'm going to sweep two rails uh for the shank uh my ring size which is a 54 uh, european um which i think is a six in american it's about 16 uh, or 17 millimeters in diameter mm -hmm. um, I created the outside curve uh, with a, a offset and I just moved the points um, moved the points up after rebuilding the curve uh, to give a little indication of easiest way to do that is uh, wait where are my curve tools now I have to learn where everything is all over again in Rhino for Mac. So as we saw, it was a 2.8 offset. Going to this layer. Um, I rebuilt the curve. And for this, I'm going to add about 15 points. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. Yeah, fifteen is good. And and then I'm just gonna lift these up. Where's my gumball? Now I'm just gonna bring this in a little bit. So we've got a slightly, uh, slightly sharp top top end. We need a bit of a dome because what we want is we want that we want that knife edge to kind of flow into the trillion cuts into the trillion cuts on the side and really fall upwards so it, it, if i nice. switch off gems here you got to have this kind of uh guitar pick shape if i can mm -hmm. put it that way and what i'm going to do is use a circle tool and two points and I'm going to use the inside curve and the outside curve. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to manipulate the outside curve, uh, the, 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 the points on the, on the, on the, on the bottom half of the circle and make it a bit of a, make it a bit of a comfort bit of a comfort nice. fit mm -hmm. um you can take the same curve and just mirror it over to the top half of the ring you use zero as if you're I not see. seeing something properly mm -hmm. or if it gets confusing just tell me um no, no it's fine so it it can keep the same um yeah the the same proportion well it's not just proportion thank you just, yeah yeah i don't know why so yeah we're just going to take the top points 
and bring it to the top of our curves. There we go. And bring those outside points in and make it a sharp, a sharp point. There we go. Voila, there we go. Um, okay, so next thing we're going to do is first of all change our view of our C plan back to world bottom. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> run a sweep two. And gonna take both those rail curves and the profile curves, bring the seam onto the inside. I just wanna use my quadrants. I don't know if it's really catching. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's not just me, right? It's changing the world, <laughs> the seaplane from time to time. Um, oh, what do you mean? It's uh, um, that seaplane changes? Yeah. By itself? The seaplane is changing. I think I'm, I'm clicking some sort of shortcut here that I don't know about in the new oh. Rhino. And it's it's changing my seaplane to... to to lie on my profile curves. Um, oh yeah, so for the for the sweep, uh, let's make it a closed sweep. Mm -hmm. um, generally, what I would actually do because I, I'm I'm not crazy about these curves that are about these 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 iso curves that are facing upwards on the side. Um, right. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would I would too. Yeah, to the perpendicular. Right perpendicular to the curve. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just gonna add slashes here to to run that. Mm -hmm. Nice. And exactly. uh, bring another slash up here. There we go. Another one here. That's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, much beautiful. better. Okay. And we'll just hit okay. Okay, there we go. It's got okay. a little message looking okay. Um, hmm. You know, there's something I forgot, but it doesn't matter because we're going to cut that top half out anyway. I should have actually maintained the height on that sweep, but it's okay. It's, no, it's not making much of a big deal. Okay. okay, so now going back to something I already um modeled this was the outer shank before it was it was narrower it wasn't as thick mm -hmm. and we have these little these little podiums on the side mm -hmm. of the stones right so we need to put those podiums in so we're going to go back to our shank and we want to put these two little square podiums in so we're going to create a cube and go go from the center make that zero and I'm just going to go with two by two. By two. And two into a little cube. And just straighten that out a little bit. Um, go back into this view. And That's change. interesting. So you want to make a prompt from the out of the cube? Yeah. 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 Wow. That's it. That's a, just a, it's like a little podium on the edge, a little podium on the edge of the ring. Um, because we're going to cut that, we're going to cut out of that little podium. We're going to turn right, it into right. a triangular setting. So we've got to rotate this by 45 degrees and just bring it over the trillion cut like that. Okay. And change our gumball. Um, okay, so here we go. We've, this this eventually is going to have a um, a chunk cut out of it. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's just it's just a podium. It it looks square for the moment, but it's it it will it will its shape will change 
um, to accommodate the shape of the the trillion cut. So it's going to be mm. kind of like a um, a triangular setting on the end of the ring. But what I need this for is that I'm going to mirror it over as well, and I'm going to use it to cut the top half out of the ring. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, going to be a the podium is going to be cutting object. Yes. Yeah. So that I can make space for the settings for the for this for the stones. So here we go. And I will still figure out why it's doing that. And I will stop it from doing that. I promise. So here let's boolean these two outside podiums out of the wrong dot. Remember to click off delete input. There we go. So now I can delete this. Mm -hmm. And okay. voila, there we go. Okay. So now the next thing we need is we can switch off our ring size for the moment and our profile curves. Now we need to to create the settings for 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 our for our stones and what i typically do for that is um i use a curve from object and i use a object not either an object intersection or um section yeah or the section i like the section uh, yeah, I love this com the command. Because you can just very quickly take something from take a take a, a curve out of your object without having to 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 uh, rebuild it, and especially if something is in a space that that doesn't look conventional. For instance, the trillion cuts here on the side. Um, if I want to do a curve with the trillion cuts, easiest thing is to just use the the section so if i right click there we go if i right click anywhere in my window on rhino for mac i have my existing command list um so here for instance with the trillion cuts let's just switch off the object snap i can create a nice section curve there we go yeah that instantly yeah it creates a curve that's super Question is just no, I didn't do it to the end though. So mm -hmm. that was a bit silly. Let's try it again. Section. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Done. Yeah. That's super. Yeah, it's so quick and uh, create a curve instantly. Yeah, by section command. Lifesaver. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice little, nice little command. So I'm just gonna select all my curves quickly in my object selection toolkit, and I'm gonna put that into a curves layer that I created here. Um. so that I can switch my shank off and I can show you what I've done so far. So this outside curve is just an offset. I can delete that. Uh, this is also just to give shape and delete that. And next thing I have to do, because these section curves are not, they're not smooth, they are, um, they generally tend to be degree two, which means that they have knots. And if I want to make settings, it would be nice not to have settings that look jagged. So you can see, uh, you, know, you can see uh, these are straight segments. It's it's not not what we want. We want it to have a smooth uh, curve on the outside. So yeah. using this curve that we've already got here. I'm just going to use my interpolated curve. I have two options. I can either take my interpolated curve and redraw 
Mm-hmm. This, this curve, just using that. Or what I prefer to do, so I keep the shape, is um, I f- prefer to explode this curve. Oh, explode it and then rebuild the one side at a time. Exactly, exactly. So just take the one side, delete it. Or you can kind of uh, trace that uh, with the arc and then rebuild that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's also a super idea. Um, That is also a super idea. So there you go. You've got three different different methods. Mm -hmm. Um, And... Close that up again. Okay, so just join this. Now I've got a nice smooth curve. And be the same with this. I would explode this or just grab multiple points, Mm. uh, put them on my three corners. And spread it. Exactly. Now I have three curves that I can. There again, it changed my will. Yeah, um, why? Yeah, this uh, now I see that the plane, yeah, changed and then. Um, you see that, huh? Yeah, I see I, that. So I'm going to have to. Yeah, you have I to think this. File, yeah. I don't know. It's some kind of C plane setting or shortcut, yeah. maybe. Yeah has to be some sort of shortcut setting. I'll have to figure it out. Um, there we go. Okay, nice, yeah. yeah. So now we've got a nice uh, smooth curve for the trillion as well. Okay. And join that. Okay. we closed curve here. And I'm just gonna work on the one side because I can only I can mirror everything over to the other side exactly mm-hmm. these, these curves are actually exactly where I kind of need to be seat um I could eventually bring the curve down a little bit so it's it's under just under the the the, the girdle of the stone um this one as well and What we'll do now is um, I'm just going to create an extrusion of these. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go to extrude, extrude from closed planar curve. And I have a layer here that I already created for my settings. Just going to bring that down. I bring it it down quite far. Mm -hmm. Just turn these off for the moment. And the same with the setting for the for this as well. Um I'm a I'm a lazy, I'm I'm a lazy builder. So I like to use my cage tool quite often. Oh, no. you want to shape it? Yeah, I love using I love using my I love using my cage tool. Well, for great. Sure. Yeah, I wanted to see that. Yeah. Um, because, for example, I, I just switched it off, but um, I just want to show you here that, okay, so we have two prongs on the outside of the marquee, which are in effect uh, a combination of two things, a extrusion on a curve of a square profile that also just got cut out at the end of the day. and uh, an extrusion of the top end, uh, mm-hmm. the top surface. But this setting, the, the seat for the middle stone and for the side stones should taper 
the same way that these two prongs on the side taper so you have that right, exactly. mm -hmm. you have that nice that nice nested look so what i tend to do is i tend to go to my transform and i go to cage edit and i like to use the bounding box shape i'll just mm -hmm. use c plane and no wait my world excuse me wrong wrong option just go to Repeat cage edit, bounding box, world, and uh, 444. Actually, um, I'm going to minimize that to three mm -hmm. because the it less, simple, yeah, yeah, the less points I have, the, the more simple the cage is, and actually, the more smooth the transformation will look. So, you won't have too much deformation. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to grab those bottom points. I'm going to bring those in using my gumball and shift shift key so that it's it's oh, uh, okay. proportional. So bring it in a little bit more. And then I'm going to do the same with the outside, the, 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 the middle side. Bring that in as well. It's good. So to just uh, taper uh, the bottom, you know, I'm lazier, you know, you can use a gumball and some object selection on the bottom and then just uh, scale it the bottom. But uh, the thing is, it's only going to have a control on the bottom and then uh, like a cage unit, it doesn't have a control on the middle. Yeah. Uh, you mean you mean the yeah the 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 the, the sub subsurface selection tool where you can actually go in and and grab yeah the, exactly the yeah the bottom and then scale it yeah with a scale three D with a, a, a shift key and bring it in but uh, um, yeah I see your I hear your point that's interesting because not only the bottom you have a control of this uh, uh, yeah that uh, the middle low you can uh, pull it and uh, uh, maybe push it to shape it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, because what I'm looking for is this kind of, um, I want this uh, uh, bulgy, I want kind of a bulgy middle. So mm -hmm. I, I want to kind of have a, 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 um, a, curvy, a curvy look as opposed to just the straight. Right, right. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I will use that idea. Um, so I'm going to do more or less the same thing with my side settings as well. Mm -hmm. And also grab a cage edit tool. Trans Sorry. Oh, I don't think maybe fine because it's a uh, parallel to the plane. Oh, you mean that's three points? Yeah, I see. Uh, come to the back end, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I wish they have a just choice of saying the object. Yeah. Mm. Oh, but they, I don't know, but the object maybe doesn't recognize the direction of the object, maybe. <laughs> In some ways, Rhino is still quite a, quite a uh, primitive software there's there's some things that's still kind of like you have to do almost analogous you know you have to almost do it uh the the old way mm -hmm. um, just want to put on my outside shank i think that this my system is running a bit slow right no that's okay is it okay? Uh, it's not. Really yeah, that's that's totally fine. But the, that's the uh, gumball. Uh, you don't have to change it to the uh, align to the object. No, it, it is that better. Oh no, that's that's fine because I'm I'm I literally just turning. I'm I'm literally just moving a little bit to the center. All of this oh, is going to okay. get chopped away at the end. So if we look quickly, not at the dimensions, but at the ring rail, mm -hmm. the, the ring size. Hmm. This should be a bit deeper. In fact, even the middle setting should be a bit deeper. So mm -hmm. this should be a bit deeper. It should kind of touch the the center setting as well. Mm. Let me just... Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a super useful way to use a cage, uh, Eva. That's a good tip. Thank you. The only thing now is that because usually when you make a setting, I would uh, make it on a top construction plane, and then you need to bring it to the 3D space where it should be. So, and then you have to rotate and things, but now you, yeah. So we can work from the stone and uh, we can create the, uh, the setting around it uh, and then the shape it with a cage. Uh, that's a brilliant. I, I think it's a bit of a lazy way of doing it as well. <laughs> I, I realize that I, I probably should be disgusted with myself but um i i love it because it just allows me a lot of flexibility um i've done something a bit silly now um what i should actually do is play the bottom out here again a bit because i need it to touch right i need it to touch the bottom here plus we will need a hole in the bottom of this so let's switch that cage off. Um, so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit below the stone as well. Okay. Uh, this should actually be a bit further up. And uh, now what we're going to do is mirror that over as well. And this is good because you can't see the setting from the top, which is nice. You don't want to see the mm -hmm. setting from the top. Exactly. Um, we're going to have to bang some holes. Wow. That was interesting display. Um, we're going to have to bang some holes through. Just change the object now. Bang some holes through these settings. Mm -hmm. So what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these curves that we have here already mm -hmm. and i'm just going to offset them towards the inside um by uh okay so i i i used one millimeter offset for the 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 the, the um the hole which basically make mm -hmm. the setting one millimeter thick and for the inside setting, I'm going to make it 1.3, mm -hmm. but deep, but thicker. And uh, as I'm doing that, I'm realizing I could also just basically take the object and scale it down if I wanted to. But mm -hmm. um, let's put this on ghosted view. And let's do an extrusion. The same for this. Okay. So I'm just gonna scale this down. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna not gonna go. Is that do you see the delay on your end? Yeah, it it takes a while. Yeah, it takes a while before it it it, it does the change. How come? Because the mine is a uh, uh, real time. It's strange. Uh, <laughs> it's well, very strange. <laughs> I, I can't tell if it's because my computer is is, is, is slow because of the 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 um because of the internet or because of the uh, uh, I don't know I use that e I use the ethernet hardwire and um that's why it's there is no there shouldn't be any de any delay okay so I'm gonna do one more cage edit here mm -hmm. I'm gonna go bounding box again well what do you what do you cage edit uh oh that the uh, cutter yeah, just the cent the center cutter, just so that it 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 has a bit the same shape as the inside of the mm, okay setting. Okay. Uh, 
and I can move this over as well. Yeah. All right, let's try that again, the Boolean difference. Okay, delete input, yes. Voila. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Ah. Seems my machine is still warming up to, to Rhino for Mac uh, version eight. Okay, so. Okay. Cool, got that. Done now. Sue, um, all righty. What we need here is uh, we need to create the air mm -hmm. between the top half of the setting and the lower half of the settings. Um, there's the part that lies on the finger. And if I just switch this off for a second uh, and the curves as well. Um, We'll see here that there's this this bottom half, mm -hmm. which exists separately from the top. There's this area. This is good for the stone to get light and to also cut down on metal. And we want to create the same thing. And the easiest thing to do at this point for that is to use cut planes mm -hmm. and our setting, uh, our ring, our ring size curve where is it here is what i want where's the side block no uh where did i put it no there okay so what i'm going to do is extrude the ring size curve both sides and I'm going to boolean this away from mm -hmm. that okay mm -hmm. so now that's nicely aligned and to create the inside here we are going to create an offset curve mm -hmm. of, as we saw in the dimensions right in the beginning, an offset curve of, come update. So, yeah, I don't know why it's, yeah, why it takes time to update uh, mm -hmm. the front view, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what Weird. I was talking about. It's looking okay. a bit better. No, I, didn't gonna, notice. I didn't notice now. Mm -hmm. I think it's, a, it's the, graphics, the graphics card updating. Mm -hmm. So... Here I'm going to go with one point. Oh, you could even go one millimeter, but let's make it one point one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, or let's just make it one. One is good. Okay. And to create the spaces, the 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 cuts on the top, I'm instead of cutting it round, mm -hmm. I'm going to cut it straight. Okay. I'm going to show you what the cutter tool looks like, what the cutting tools look like that I used for the, the finished ring. Um, oh, okay. So it's aligned to the, yeah, the you see object. That? Mm -hmm. They actually, so the, 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 the inside that lies on the finger is, is curved and it, it, it curves nicely with the finger. I'm making it, I'm making it smaller instead of that thick. And the top half is the top half of the setting is straight, totally mm -hmm. straight. It, it, it looks homogeneous with the stone. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm going to switch those cut plans off and we're going to create our own. Um, I'm going to just use the cut plan command. And here I am 
going to first create a cut plane on the top so I can offset that surface downwards. I'm going to offset that surface by uh, offset, let's say by one, let's make it 1.2. Mm -hmm. two, two five is good. And we do not want a solid, we want a loose surface. There we go. There's a nice airy gap over here. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna do the same with the top. So we're gonna... And here we're gonna make it a bit thicker so we've got more material for our bigger stone. I make that about 1.5 flip so flip direction and we make that 1.5 and it's loose and there we go good oh before you cut it maybe viewers you wanted to see the plane so maybe you can change yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the view um, change yeah, what, the preview. What but what I, we're doing while i'm plan. sorry no 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 it's, it's the so that the, we know what what you created yeah. The plan. What, I'm, mm -hmm. what I'm also going to do is, uh, you see that I'm going to open the stones again because I'm going to actually move this top setting down a bit further. Mm -hmm. I'll just cut it again because what actually should happen is that the top setting should align with the side settings once it's cut so that it can right, almost right. be one object. So I'm going to bring that cutting plane down. Um, and needs to update that view again. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that these two are almost one piece on top, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's mirror this over to the other side again. Uh, this is a really good tutorial no what do you mean why do i have to cut curls <laughs> because of my choice of rhino work in progress uh, uh no no i think it's world. yeah uh, i think it's interesting experiment and let's extrude this curve as well yeah but they need to address this uh delay right uh, it, that this wouldn't have this doesn't happen at Rhino 7, correct? No. <laughs> well, it's Rhino, Rhino for Mac 7, I know I haven't had this happen to me, but I, I'm working on a laptop and it could also be that my laptop is is, is just uh, not able to handle the, the Zoom and the, the Rhino and everything all at once. It's quite possible um, that it's just, uh, it's just, it's just working really hard right now. So, is it going to take that? Did it do something or? Oh, um, I don't it know. Did it do something? Yes, yes, it did. Yes, no, it did. Here we go. Yeah, there okay. we go. Okay. It didn't rotate, no. And the same with the top, so let's. Okay, there we go. And we can turn that off now. No, what we want. We can turn off. Okay, so we can delete that. Okay, wow. Centerpiece now. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. Oh. Okay, the only thing left to do here is the bottom of this as well which okay, I, I will use your method, which I love. But the only thing is that it's, it, it leaves it open. So actually let's go with wire cut instead. Yeah, um, I love wire cut. Yeah, wire cut, super, super tool. Both sides. Uh, 
Okay, so the where are we not? Let's that's the ready shank. That's not the one we want. This is the one we want. So what we've got right now is looking like this. And align the C plan. So what we're missing still is we need prongs mm -hmm. for the cuts and we need uh we need cutter tools um and we need the the, the outside prongs for for our for our middle stone so for the middle stone like i was saying the easiest thing to do here is we're going to switch off our settings actually just the just the shank and we're going to create a profile curve or a rail curve actually not a profile curve for our setting uh for our prong not for our setting and so wait a second so what what we're doing right now is is quite simple um we're just going to create the prong for the for the for the for the center stone what i what i do there is is i i literally just um i create a, a rectangle a, a, a square and um I I wanted to have a kind of bulgy outside, so it fits with the 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 the, the setting as well. So I'm going to explode this uh, rectangle, a uh, tri uh, square, and the two outside curves. I'm going to rebuild uh, in a degree three uh, with four or five points, but I would go with four, and I'm just going to use my gumball to to create oh, this, this wow that's super, super. yeah mm -hmm. um then so what i want to do is i want to cut a um i want to make the same shape on the inside of this of this prong setting um more or less the same shape uh, i can either take these two outside curves and i can offset them um, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually just going to rotate and uh, duplicate. So press the Alt key while I press the rotation on the gumball and just mm -hmm. uh, type in 90 degrees. And there I have a a, a, a duplicate. Uh, oh, 90 degrees. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, right. And I'm just going to move that over the line a bit. Because what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to mirror it, mm -hmm. and I'm going to mirror that curve, and I'm going to use it to trim my other curves with. I see. Okay, it's that's a, bit... that's a good tip. Yes, yeah, so uh, thank you. Uh, and. We're going to join that lot up with the outside curves. Yes. It's wonderful. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. And now we're going to sweep that curve on that rail. And that's going to be our prong. There we go. Sweep. Mm -hmm. hmm. I wonder if we can cap that. Let's try. Cap it. Yes. Great. And take the top surface mm -hmm. and just extrude it up. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. All right, wow. Um, that, that, this is a super good idea, uh, Eva. It really helped yeah, to, to make that um, uh, V-prong, uh, modifying that, uh, yeah, that curve, um, super. So and if because they they're a bit they look a bit thick at the bottom here, right? So um, 
what you can do there is again, uh, and I'm going to do that one more time. Um, grab the transform and cage edit. Mm -hmm. uh, I suspect you could probably just use the subsurface editing tool, but I'm going to do it like this. Um, I just want to make it a little bit narrow at the bottom. Mm. Well, this is a lifesaver. Without creating a different uh, cross section. Yeah, so we can edit this way. Um, bring it in. There we go. And we can cut that again. I uh, need to mirror that over one more time. And cut that with the ring size one more time. So wire cut and go. Finish. Okay. Okay. Well, nice and clean. Yeah, that's looking okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now the last two things left is um, really the, the cutters for the seats. So we want to cut the stones out mm -hmm. and uh, the prongs. We've got two, we've got two prongs that we still need to put in between the trillions and the, right. and the stone to hold the trillion on the corner. So let's create those cutters. Uh, I've got your, not cut plan, I've got your cutters already, just to give you mm -hmm. an idea um, of what they look like. We just need it for the top settings, not for the bottom setting. So mm -hmm. we could even just bullion the bottom together and we could put that, for example, into the shank, uh, into the shank layer that we created. So it would be part of that. And one thing, though, I'm not convinced about yet what? is, I oh, know. No, no. So that goes all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. I thought that was the case. These two pillars also need to get a cut out, a nice mm -hmm. cut out of them. Um, I wonder if we just don't do that right now. So I'm just going to duplicate that. Yeah, I use a nudge key to nudge it, the, the keyboard, tap, 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 the arrow key to nudge it. Yeah. What do you use for the shortcut for the for the for the for the nudge? Nudge is uh, usually uh I don't know if your setting is, but uh, uh you go to the uh go to the right viewport, for example. Yeah. And not the top viewport. Top viewport yeah. and select the object and then use yeah. the arrow. Uh, can you tap the arrow key? Go go yeah. to the right um, or left. Tapping the arrow oh, okay. key. So you, yeah. know, okay. so you know, you you go to the uh, rhinoceros ah, reference. It's, it's the it's the option Alt it's key. Doing... Oh, it's the option Alt key. You have to press the option Alt key to 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 move it. Oh, to, okay. To, you press option Alt and then um, the arrow. Option Alt and arrow. Okay, so just just not the arrow doesn't do it. No, no, not on, not okay. on my shortcuts. <laughs> so you have to change the setting to go to the dinosaur preference and modeling ace and a, a nudge. You can change it, and you can change the amount. Mine's like a, just the arrow is zero point one. If you use a control, which is a command, with the um, with the arrow key, it's zero point zero one. 
yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can change the amount that it nudges as well, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So you go to the rhinoceros preference uh, modeling aid on a Mac, you can change it. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll have a look quickly. Services, uh, I think it's under preferences, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, rhinoceros preference. Or rhino settings, let's see. And then, uh, I don't know. And then you go to the modeling aids. Where's the modeling aids? There uh, we go, modeling aids. Right, and then go Nudge. to the- There we go. And then that so, arrow key. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. click the top. No, you have to click the top one. Just the arrow key. No, arrow key. And then I do nudge alone is uh, uh, 0 0.1. And then nudge uh, command is that I do 0 0.01 because you need to sometimes uh, yeah nudge a little bit. No, Should 0, 0, 0 0.01, uh, uh, 0 0.01. Oh, just 0 0.01, yeah? Yeah. And shift and nudge key. Uh, yeah. I, I, I never <laughs> used the bottom one, yeah. So this way, yeah. So this way you can uh, use a, just the arrow key for the 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 millimeter, but you cannot be in a perspective. You have to be in an orthographic view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't want to update view. There we go, just want to check it. So we've got your uh, nudge. So I'm just gonna use my arrows. Yeah, just, just the arrow, just, just the arrow key, but tap, 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 tap. Ah, I also see that I don't have my history on, so that would help. Oh. Um, yeah, because it doesn't; it's not on by default on the Rhino for Mac, but um, that then would be Command Nudge. Ah, that's zero point one, and then Shift and Arrow. Wow, perfect! Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's welcome. great. <laughs> that is great. So let's. we go oh Let's... i see i was wondering what you're doing so oh that you made a v supers all right and, and then what we still have left is the prongs the, yeah. The, the, yeah the prongs and the cutters so the cutters how i do the cutters is i just use the the um the curves from the stones mm -hmm. um using offsets uh, and create a smaller version. So if I switch the uh, ring off and you'll see here on the right side, mm -hmm. I have, <laughs> and again, I have uh, these curves, these orange curves here. And with these orange curves, I basically created a, um, uh, is that the seats? Yes. I basically created the cutting tool. So just to... Mm -hmm. select all of them and loft. Mm, a mistake on my part. So let's, yeah, that's all on. Oh, snap, smart track. I, don't want my smart track on. Um, let's just. Yeah, that would. Help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would help, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a closed loft, no. But with straight sections, definitely. There we go. Yeah. Still not, still, still yeah, giving not a great result. I don't understand. Mm. Straight section uh, option? I can also rebuild with. No, that's gonna make a, a kind of. Not doesn't look like straight. No, it won't look totally no. straight, but oh. it's okay because actually, that's actually not so bad at all. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah, a bit yeah. more modern. It's a bit more homogenous. Mm -hmm. So can go with that. Um, it was just an indicator just to show you how to to build a cutter, to build a cutting tool using just the the curves of the stone mm -hmm. um, we need to do the same for the center stone so i'm just going to put on the stones again and uh, the curves that i had that i i had made from the stone and we're just going to make a copy of 
the top curve and then a copy of the bottom curve, scale it down. It should be scaled down from the center though and not from, where did my curves go? Oh, what happened? <laughs> did all my curves <laughs> go? <laughs> okay, I can, I can yeah. confirm that Rhino work in progress eight for Mac is definitely not ready for you. It's not, it's not ready yet. <laughs> it shouldn't, well, well, give a feedback. I will, no, I will most definitely. I will most definitely. Um, I suspect that one could probably also get away with just working with the Rhino work, but they 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 do they do go to to um to links to to remind people that it's it's not it's not meant to be for commercial purposes yet. So I have to yeah. give them that in their defense. They they do warn people not to you know go gung ho with the new releases. Uh, and I love, especially with the the latest one, the you know the new Rhino in progress. Or actually, not Rhino. It's not the work in progress. It's it is the work in progress Rhino eight for PC, which uh -huh. is actually doing very nicely. Oh, they okay. have. They yeah. also said. They also said, the the proper release version is not ready for use yet. So <laughs> anybody who you know takes it and uses it for commercial purposes would be making a dire mistake oh okay cannot be responsible for that <laughs> no no they cannot be held responsible for that no right. if, you, if you don't read the fine print it's not even fine it's quite big on their web on their email from bob himself personally then you deserve to lose your work <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes <Sarah. laughs> So here we go, straight sections, and there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to use these these babies to cut up the top off. And mm -hmm. all we have left then is we a little. Can use the as, uh, the setting as it is. Uh, well, oh, we go to the siege. Okay. Yeah. No, wait, wait. Let's 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 explore that because this is an interesting thing to talk about. Um, the stones, the the setter. It also mm. depends on your setter. I mean, uh, I've worked with setters who prefer to cut this out themselves. Right, right. Uh -huh. So it always depends on who you're working with and what what they want. Right. Mm. Um, for example. Sure, there are there are guys that they would prefer to actually cut this out themselves. They don't want you to. Mm. They don't want you to uh, um, take that material away on their behalf or for them. So mm. uh, it, it, I suppose, it just depends on on, yeah, yeah who to work with. Yeah, exactly. With. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, uh, the city. I mean, the more metal to give it to him, I mean, that's going to be platinum and gold. That's going to be a lot of loss. But uh... yeah, mm -hmm. well, you know, some setters they they like to have lots of leftover gold. <laughs> right, especially nowadays. Yeah, gold is uh, very expensive. Uh -huh. There we go. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, why? Why, no. why didn't cut away? No, I don't know. What am I? What am I doing wrong here? Okay, boolean difference. Difference. I don't know, direction of the surface. No. Select surface palettes to subtract with. Delete input. Yes. Keep cutters. No. <laughs> ah. Oh, maybe you, okay, you should, you should check on. the direction of the surface. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, 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 exactly. You have to okay. reverse the direction of the white arrows. We go. Oh, here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that's not very nicely cut. Let's have a look here what's going on. Mm. Ah. Oh, okay. That needs to be smaller. Or it needs to be 
Yeah, move it over maybe. Oh yeah. no, you cannot move over. Uh, with my layers, let's make that. Uh, yeah, did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's no, good. Make it a bit smaller. There we go. There, that's good. And that too. Okay. And let's do that again for the settings. Voila, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's, I suppose you could also make this, the cutters a little bit smaller if you want to, finally. And uh, let's see, uh, what have we got? Is it? Ah, that's why, yeah. Because again, at least. Direction, yeah. Yeah, uh, the direction, exactly. The direction on this was also wonky. And it's not updating. Come on. Oh, direction has to be outside. Yeah, because you yeah. want to keep the outside of the object. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And there we go. Oh, okay. Looks good. So we're oh, almost done. Yeah. A uh, little plong to holding that on stone, right? Okay. Yeah. We need the prongs. And ah, I think I found the culprit. It's the escape of the delete key. Um, so I've already got a little curve in here. Mm -hmm. Just this little one. So basically, it's just in the side view. I created <laughs> everything else is still waiting to update. There we go. Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> I, I just uh, created a little line mm -hmm. in the direction of the settings. Uh, okay, so they, in the uh, front viewport. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's just basically going, it's just cutting the middle setting and the side setting in half in a way. Yeah. And if we look at the stone, we see it's just on the corner of the stone, but it, it's just, it's just the, 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 the starting curve. It's mm -hmm. just actually to create a, um, a pipe width. And then we will go and we'll um, we'll move it where we, we want it. So uh, we can make this, I'd say one in diameter. Yeah, one in mm -hmm. diameter. Let's see if it's not too big. That's too big. So no, definitely too big. So mm -hmm. we want that to be uh, point, let's say six, five uh, flat is good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good size. Yeah, almost maybe still too big. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I I think I need, I wanted to have the, or setter wants to have the uh, prong for that stone. Um, I think at 0. 0.65 or 0. 0.6. Uh, 0. Yeah, 0.6, yeah. You'd say 0. 0.65 is actually still not too thick, huh? Oh. No, I don't think so, yeah. That's a part of the design too. I think it has a, a more homogeneous, homogeneous look. Mm, okay. I think, yeah. Uh, I, I I did mention right in the beginning that I tend to have a, a tendency to make things too thin and too fine. So um, I think knowing that uh, I will stick to the 0.65. Mm -hmm. um, and 
we're just going to rotate this a bit so it's more in line with everything else that's mm -hmm. no wrong direction uh, here we go yep. that's a little bit more more the direction we want and bring it out a bit there we go it's not even no that's good and if you want to you can fill at the edges on this still needs to come out a little bit yeah okay. that's nice that's nice yeah yeah and oh you want to feel it yeah, yeah. Well, I said Better will uh, round it anyway. <laughs> if, yeah. It, plus, it'll probably take less time for the setter to round my my edge mm -hmm. than it will round it from back to. <laughs> it's just, it just hang. Okay, so we'll we'll be leaving that for the setter. <laughs> uh, while I'm at it, let's save because I have a, I have a suspicion, uh, and let's hope. No, still haven't updated. Nope. They've decided to go on holiday. Ask our <laughs> other views. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Everything, everything updated all at once. Yep. Okay. So um, let's try that again. Fill it. No. But it's not happening. Oh, maybe radius. What did you put it? No, no, it's, it's 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 not even. It doesn't even let me select. Oh, really? so I'm 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 a bit stuck here. So, uh, we're just going to mirror that over. Someday, maybe not today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a getting slow and slow. Getting, getting yeah. heavier. No, so it's a good thing we're almost over. <laughs> No, so we're coming to the end of the tutorial, so it's 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 already going on strike. Typical. No, no, but the, Eva, that's I'm good. I mean, uh, we we can we can see that the you know um, this uh, uh, three stone ring with uh, a certain getty getty um, 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 work in progress with a rhino for Mac. Uh, God, let me just please hold out. I'm talking to the computer. <laughs> No, Just, but it's looking very nice. There we go. And okay. Yeah. Okay, wow. it's done. Okay. Beautiful.